Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am here with a brand new lesson to get you started in Tinkercad. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So you can get to Tinkercad by just typing tinkercad.com. There will also be a link in the description. The first time you visit Tinkercad, it'll probably show you this tutorial. It's fine, but I don't need you to do it. I would rather have you just click the Tinkercad dashboard. And when you get here, I need you to hit Create New Design. Whenever we start Tinkercad, let's remember to always name it. We're going to call this one Nameplate, and we're going to put our initials after it. When you click down here, we're going to build our nameplate like a name tent. So we're going to use a roof. When you click this roof, notice my hands are up in the air, but I am dragging it out. And I can set it down on what we call the work plane. You've got handles that you can stretch that are white, but they're hard to control because they do two directions at once. So right now we're going to use undo, which is up here, and it's also control Z to get it back. These black handles that are on the side, they only go in one direction. So I'm going to make it crazy long, just to show you that we can. And then I want you to click on the number that shows up, and I want you to type 70 and press enter. So now when we check that measurement, it is exactly 70. I would like you to keep this at 20, but I want you to make the height 25. Now an easy way to see this is to click on the corner of the cube so that way it's easier to spot that's the height and we're going to make that 25 and press enter now once again you could have stretched it like crazy and then you can type the 25 if you ever make a mistake you can always undo as you're working keep your eyes on your neighbor if you see they're struggling help them with these steps as you're learning this video make sure you watch a little bit pause do what i showed you and then come back and learn the next piece we want to put our name on the tent so I click on the work plane and I move it over. Notice I'm not touching the mouse button. I just click and let go and I click on the side of that triangle. So what this does is it makes it so when we click on the text button, our text lands right on the name tent. Click up here and I find the best way is to backspace and then put your first name. My name is Mike. Your name is probably different. Remember to use the black handle. If you use these handles, it changes all the directions and just hit undo to go back. Use that black handle to get it to the exact location up and down that you want. And then also pick the color that you want. I'm gonna go with a gray. I'm gonna click on my little tent and I'm gonna pick a blue. And then I also wanna make this thinner. So once again, I'm gonna click on the shape and this time I'm gonna use fit view. And that lets me see this one pretty easily because I'm still looking at it from that corner. And instead of 10, I want to make it 2. I also want to take these two things. I'm going to put the work plane back on the ground. And I want to group them together. So all I did was drag a box that touches both. Notice it says two shapes and hit group. Now when this happens, we lose our awesome colors. But that's only for a second because we can hit the multicolor button. Now I want to look at this from the other side, so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put my name on the other side as well. Once again, work plane, flat spot, text. I'm going to use the minus sign to zoom out and backspace. I'm going to put Mike here, pick my cool color. Let's make it skinny again. And then I'm going to grab and nudge it to one edge and then use the black handles to get it the exact way I want. Now I'm using a mouse, so what you just saw me do was a right click drag to look at it from every direction. You can also hold the view cube to do the same thing. I'm gonna put the work plane back to the ground. So now with the work plane on the ground, I wanna grab this all again and I wanna group it. This time it stayed multicolor, so it looks good from both sides. And then the last step I want to show you is how to line it up with the work plane. So if you look at it from a top corner, it has a rotation handle. When you grab this, you need to grab the little handle piece. And if you move the mouse way away, it goes one degree at a time. Well, that's a lot of work. We only want to go 90 degrees. So if you stay close to the shape, look how it snaps to the spot you want. 
Once you've got it aimed the same as the work plane, bring it back here. If you ever make a mistake, just hit undo. Another cool thing about this is if you just click this and type the number 90, it'll also snap to that exact same spot. All right, friends, so there is your awesome nameplate. You've got a lot of skills. We've only used a couple shapes, but friends, you've learned how to group, use the work plane, and stretch things to the size you want. So even though this lesson was short, it's also got a lot of cool skills. Now my favorite part of this whole lesson, besides me being able to learn your names, is down here on the bottom, there is a shapes collection. Friends, when you hit this and hit create a shape, it will store that little part. So now in every project you make, you can instantly add your name tent. So right now I'm gonna put name tent. I'm not gonna add a description and I'm not gonna add tags because this is pretty self-explanatory. And I rarely lock the part size. I wanna be able to adjust this for every project. So now when I hit save shape, boom, it will be stored with all my other cool things. So let me show you quickly how this works. Tinkercad saves to the cloud. So when we hit the Tinkercad dashboard, boom, that project is saved. But watch this, when I hit create new design, and now I can simply click and go to Shapes Collection and bam, on my next project, I can instantly click that dude, wait a second, and then drop him in place. So there you have it, friends. That is lesson one. You've now got your own shape. You can see I brought in my unicorn dude. That is another one of my lessons. Friends, I have a ton of lessons to get you started on. This one is great because you learn a lot of basic shapes and you get to master that work plane, which is extremely handy. Friends, if you're looking for a next lesson to do, don't forget you can visit hlmodtech.com. I have got a Tinkercad tab, which is full of lessons that can get you started. If you ever have questions, don't forget you can click down here on the messaging and reach out to me almost instantly. Of course, friends, you can also track me down. I am hlmodtech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. And you can find me on Twitter. I am hltinkercad. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.